really don't understand some certain things. We have issues that we try to cure. We complex more issues with avoidance because they're too dramatic to pay attention to. Now, if you pay attention too much, you really know what's going on in the world. It's overwhelming. The complexity and severity is beyond human comprehension. You get hospitalized. Because the evils of the world show that peril happens every day. I no longer hear about the 200 Haitian girls. I no longer hear about the hundreds of fucking moments. So that stopped, right? The world's okay. Great. So you got black equality now. We shake their hand and we go. They're just as human as I. It's kind of ridiculous. Just as human as I. No, it's more like thank you for being the roots of the first children of God who declared themselves Hebrew. We all came out of black people. Ooh, that's such a shame. And then the whiter we get, Actually, my friend's a historian, we butt heads. He's a pain in the ass. Yo, he's black. I've got a black friend. She's? But, no, it's, it's, it's like, um, I go by science. You know, I mean, I don't know, if, you, if you're going to appreciate ethnicity, you either enjoy the food or you don't. It's about breaking bread. But the tributes that I don't see happening are the basic fundamentals of spirit, the basic fundamentals of survival and from black people, because from them is which we came. Now we shit on them. And the whole thing about uh, a society like this America was founded 200 years. 200 years before Rothschild. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm sorry for the pause. Before Rothschild came, okay. there's a bunch of fucking white guys with money who adapted to a system who knew there was a land to fucking take over. And they came here, so it's the white power that goes over here. It kills 122 fucking million people. So it's like, fucking wow, that's hard to develop. This England. This England. So, they're like, hey, we can't do this shit. We don't have enough manpower. And they go, we already know a little bit the world. People in Africa are strong. Simple people. It's easy to take over. And we'll just, I don't know, if, if slaves are already existing, but I don't know. I mean, all right, so they go get the black people, and they, but they take the roots of, of the earth to go build white power. And then the only people who seem to enjoy it is the people with that white power uh, who, 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 who uh, are the evils of the world? It, it, it's it's like the, it, it breaks down. We're, we're funding five companies. No, well, only five companies exist. No, it breaks down the roots. It's like a pyramid scheme. Um, yeah, it's drifting, stoned. No. If you think about it, 
first children of the earth were black. Their power was Egypt for like 6,000 years, and that was harsh. Um, black Rome, Julius Caesar. And it works up, it works up, it works up. Never in my fucking life did I ever hear about anything like 122 million fucking people killed. 7.7 .7 million Jews were killed. I have never in my life heard about 122 million people fucking killed. Polish people died. 4.7 million. 7.7 .7 million Jews. Is things these things don't make sense. I, I just one person dead. Is one person too many? But all that we fight for now is peace. In order to find peace, you don't fight. You gotta learn one to fight. Who the fuck fights for the woman? Why do we always swipe shit under the rug? I only see so many speakers of women. Rose McGowan, Listen Milano. I mean, but, but who with strength fights for the woman? This abuse, I watch women flinch. I'm a fucking puppy. My friend that's the black historian. He fucking goes, Sean, you know, black people and white people will eventually fucking get along in time. We just learn to succumb to our differences. But the woman will never get equal treatment. There's, and I know woman, I'm a feminist. You either get hurt and try to develop some type of stance to take on the shit that comes, or you let yourself get affected. I guess focus on the negative. I mean, I hope every woman has certain things. Like dancing and love and, and a husband that doesn't walk out on them. Babies. Let your babies be your husband's babies. And hopefully you get to watch your babies' babies grow. Of all the things I've heard in abuse, there's like one Two worst stories as I've ever heard. One gave me PTSD. But I was too young to hear that. Never mind, I didn't know what I went through. We all go through abuse. Men suck. And it's the men that decides to do the worst crimes. I feel bad how men represent themselves. Might as well say it to God. You see, I studied seven different religions. Learned to be a good person. And I have heart and I care. I just watch myself grow older. I always have the heart of a boy. And I trust. But God damn it. Some things you're just not supposed to fucking do to an old man or to a woman. I am not the worst that I know of. 
Me shit, I was full. Four to what? Forty. Oh God, was it forty-six? Forty-five. Four to forty-five. My friend goes. I, we had like a improv meeting. Like I disappeared for a while. And he goes, "You came to our house every day." We never knew I was wrong. You were a little fucking him. I'm to think of it. I didn't think yesterday's because every day was so full of glory. But I put together because we stopped. Stopped going to that house. I didn't tell. I didn't think about it. That new day was just not going to the house anymore. I kept going. So during a 45 minute meeting, I played cool. I told him my success. I all of a sudden, PTSD in his face. Because I never got a chance to express myself. So, life is a life. Depression is oppression. Somehow you have to overcome your oppression. And the worst story. I have heard was my, my mom's. The second worst was my ex's. So this we got discrimination against black people. I get it. I still don't understand why I'm angry at the Vietnamese, but that's not my business. I mean, we maybe we, we just gotta work, overcome this. It's like I read in hell, you shake hands. This isn't hell. It's purgatory. Men's got the wrong fucking frame of mind. So I stay a boy. I just got a fucking gas bike. I'm gonna try to break myself. And this boy is gonna fucking get into politics. Gotta make myself healthy. I got a tax ID number. Celtic shine. There's gonna be a Celtic shine with Tony's like the Celtic shine. So I get into that, manage my money, do my business, auto detailing, boiler tech, and I have a great mind for inventions. I have eight more possible pal patents than uh, 13 ideas. Compared to 13 ideas. But, I don't know. Plus, the, I got medical weed, and I think this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna smoke and just get my shit together. I got skin products. Jesus Christ, I look like shit. Well, God bless everybody. Maybe I'll just be that voice that goes, I'm on your side. Amen.